Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECM to 30 day ensembles for today's first video. It's going to take us into the first week of 2019. So, um, we're at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for these charts. We're showing you temperature and precipitation anomalies for the uh, next month. We can't show you 500 millibar heights or mean sea level pressure, but of course, from the temperature and precipitation anomalies, you can get sort of a rough idea of what the uh, model would be predicting in terms of the pressure pattern to produce these um, temperature and precipitation anomalies. So that's what we're going to do for today's first video. This afternoon, we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days with the GFS, the ECM, and the GEM2. Uh, so we're going to start off with week one, 500 millibar height. So we're not going to start off with week one, temperature anomalies and this of course is week 50 for the year so this is going to be taking us from the 10th through to the 16th of December and the temperature anomaly looks pretty cold actually across uh, much of northern Europe we see that Scandinavia is uh, colder than average in the week ahead from the 10th to the 16th of December. Uh, no anomalies are going down to kind of like 3 to 6 degrees below average through some parts of Norway and also northern Sweden, so really quite cold there. Down into the UK, it also looks pretty cold, really, for uh, many parts of the UK, particularly eastern uh, parts of uh, the United Kingdom. Over in Ireland, it's actually a little bit milder than average in the week. So still a bit of influence from the Atlantic for Ireland, but for many parts of the UK, it's actually looking uh, rather cold. Down into... Uh, Germany, it's colder than average there. It's also colder than average across parts of the Low Countries and into northern parts of uh, France as well. O up towards the Baltic in the northeast and part of the Europe around those Baltic countries. Uh, there we see that it is a bit colder than average as well. So many northern parts of Europe are coming out pretty cold in the week ahead. It's milder down across the southwest though. So Spain and Portugal above average temperatures there, looking nice and mild if you fancy a pre-Christmas. Um, break. France is close to average. I mean, going through the Mediterranean, we find that many of these central western parts of the Med um, are kind of like milder than average. Around the holiday islands looking pretty good there. Uh, Italy a bit cooler, and then over the Adriatic to the Balkans and down into the southeast of Europe, over to the Black Sea. Quite close to average, maybe a little bit on the chilly side of those areas. But I think broadly, Northern Europe is colder. Southern Europe uh, looks a little bit milder in the week ahead. Uh, Precipitation-wise, we see that uh, it's very much drier than average up across uh, parts of Scandinavia, particularly Norway. So this is telling us that we're going to have an area of high pressure sitting over Scandinavia, particularly focused around Norway. So where it's coldest, it's also driest um, across the far north of uh, Europe. Going further south, we see it varies from area to area. For example, for the UK and for Ireland, well, much of Ireland is coming out quite a wet week, a wetter than average week um, for the 10th to the 16th of December. UK, it's drier than average up across Scotland, near normal for England and Wales. France also looks uh, reasonably dry, as does Belgium, Holland, over towards uh, over towards Germany too. Um, southern parts of Scandinavia, so kind of like Denmark, is drier than average as well. Back the bulk to Scandinavia and even up over towards the Baltic areas um, coming out uh, drier than average there. Down in Mamed, it looks a little bit unsettled, so uh, a little bit above average with precipitation through parts of Spain and Portugal, so maybe not quite so good for those holiday areas after all. Uh, the central basin of the Mediterranean and the holiday islands there, again, looks a little bit above average with precipitation, and also looks quite wet down towards Greece as well, although up towards the Balkans, it's a bit drier than average up there in uh, the week ahead. We move through to uh, week two. This takes us from the 17th through to the 23rd of uh, December. And we're looking like this. It's turning much milder now across uh, many parts of Europe running up towards Christmas. So the mildest anomalies, the warmest uh, anomalies to average are uh, across parts of France and southern Germany, also down into the Balkans. Uh, there we've got temperature anomalies around three to six degrees above average, but quite widely across many central, uh, many central and western parts of Europe, we are forecast to have a uh, mild of an average week here for week two or week 51 for the year 17th to the 23rd of December. Scandinavia looks cooler and over towards the northeast of Europe. It's a little bit cooler there, although not particularly cold. Temperatures are going 
uh, closer to average. But it still looks a bit, a bit cooler compared to the rest of Europe, uh, really uh, up in the far north. Otherwise, quite a mild scene uh, in, uh, in uh, the second week. And then this precipitation anomalies are looking so quite unsettled in these western parts of Europe, Ireland, UK, France, uh, the Low Countries, um, Germany, southern parts of Scandinavia, so like some parts of Norway, Denmark, southern Sweden. Looks a little bit wetter than average there. Also parts of Spain and Portugal, uh, out to the northwest anyway close to the Bay of Biscay and the Atlantic, looking uh, rather wet through those regions. Norway is still hanging on to drier than average conditions, or most of Norway anyway, so that tells us we might still have some sort of legacy left over from the Scandinavian high, although obviously it's reduced, uh, reduced and weakened as we're running up towards Christmas. And then again, through the Med, so uh, again, the holiday islands not looking too bad at all, a little bit drier than average there. Greece also not looking um too bad but overall it does look like a more unsettled and milder week here as we're going into uh, week two of our forecast period and then we're up to week three this takes us from christmas eve through to the 30th of uh, december and uh, we still see this ongoing uh, sort of mild scene here over Christmas week across many parts of Europe. So a mild Christmas coming up, if this is right, for many central parts of Europe, from France out in the west over towards Black Sea in the east, and many other places in between coming out with above average temperature anomalies. So between around 1 and 3 degrees above average. Going a bit colder again, though, you'll notice, across Scandinavia. So maybe uh, a white Christmas in the Nordic regions. You're also cooling down a little bit for the UK and Ireland. We're going back closer to average here as we go into week 3 or week 52, final week of the year uh, for 2018. Um, so looks a little bit cooler, I suppose, up in the far uh, northwest in that sort of area. It's either average for UK and Ireland, or it's uh, a bit colder than average for parts of Scandinavia. Otherwise, it's generally quite a mild scene. Down in the Med, Spain and Portugal, close to average, so a little bit cooler there. Um, the holiday islands, again, if you would like a, a Christmas break to uh, Mallorca or Ibiza, somewhere like that, it looks a little bit milder than average through those central parts of the Med. And uh, Greece also looking quite nice. If you fancy a uh, Christmas break in Greece, temperature anomalies uh, look as though they're going to be uh, milder than average down there too. Precipitation anomalies are weakening as we're going through this week. So still looks quite unsettled in this sway from kind of like Ireland and the UK uh, through sort of Denmark, southern Scandinavia, northern Germany, again going up to the uh, northeast of uh, Europe. So uh, that kind of area looks a little bit unsettled. You'll notice still a bit drier than average close to Norway. So it tells us we may still have some sort of influence there from uh, the Scandinavian high, particularly as temperature numbers are turning colder. Again, we may even be seeing a strengthening signal pattern for the Scandinavian high over Christmas. Uh, otherwise, though, across many central and southern parts of Europe, not a great deal to be seen. Um, temp uh, precipitation anomalies very, very close to average as the signal is beginning to uh, weaken away. And then finally, we go through to uh, week uh, week four, which is going to be week one for our forecast periods as we are into the first week of 2019. This takes us from New Year's Eve through to the 6th of January uh, 2019. We see for temperature anomalies, it looks uh, pretty mild across many southern parts of Europe. So again, we've got southern France, Italy, um, the Balkans, around the Asiatic down in towards uh, Greece and uh, parts of Turkey. Those areas are forecast to have milder than average uh, temperature anomalies. Then just a big swathe of average or maybe no signal through the central parts of Europe. And then again, possibly just signs of going a bit colder in the northwest. So we see Ireland uh, going a bit colder than average. Scotland also going a little bit colder than average, as is parts of Scandinavia. Right? It's a weaker signal. 
uh, for them. But it does look as though Southern Europe generally quite mild as we begin 2019. Maybe starting to go quite cold up in the north. And then finally, precipitation-wise, this is how things are looking. Uh, so again, we see this seems to perhaps be a bit drier than average up to the north and possibly extending out over towards Iceland as well. So maybe signals, uh, increased signals of uh, high pressure developing to the north. It is a weak signal, as it always is in week four, but possibly just the first hints, perhaps, of northern blocking beginning to uh, develop there. Uh, to the north of Europe and to the north of the UK. Uh, down to the southwest of the British Isles, it's a little bit wetter than average there. I mean, otherwise, there's not much going on, really. It's uh, fairly dryish, I suppose, over in the east of Europe. But again, very weak signals, to be honest, as you always get in um, the fourth week. So uh, it looks as though we're starting off quite cold for uh, for the first week, particularly across the northern parts of Europe. We get towards Christmas, it turns milder. Uh, also quite unsettled, though, as we get towards Christmas. And then after Christmas, just perhaps a few hints there. Very weak, but perhaps just a few hints of cold air beginning to return to the north and northwest of Europe in particular as we're heading towards the start of the new year. Um, and maybe just one or two uh, hints of a little bit of blocking beginning to get going across the northern latitudes as well. Although that is a very weak signal, very marginal signal. I suspect we'll know more about that in a couple of weeks. Although in a couple of weeks, it would, of course, be Christmas Day today. So there won't be um, an ECMWF 30-day uh, uh, look-ahead video for that because I'll be taking the day off. So um, anyway, we'll uh, worry about that when we get to it. So it looks like uh, fairly cold for the next week. Then getting milder, running up towards Christmas. Possibly a few hints for Northern Europe of going cold again in the new year. Uh, we'll do it all over again next week. Uh, and then later on today we're going to have your uh, week to 10 day video update so come back for that then that's all for now and thanks for watching